Hello there, my name is Levin Jai. This is News Review. Thank you for being there. Coming up on the show today, one of our cameramen was arrested by police uh, today as he filmed dramatic scenes there in Bijilo. The police barred global home officials from entering a property and while he was filming those scenes, he was arrested. Uh, we have that footage uh, for you, the footage of Ibrahim James' arrest, arrest there, but also three global home officials, uh, including Nene Gomez, have been charged with uh, um, malicious damage to property. They are still at the Caraba Police Station, yet to be released on bail. Esafal also uh, visited the victim centre today. We have, a, we have that uh, report for you too. Also, journalist Yusef Taylor will join me a little later. He has been someone who has been following this global home um, issue. He will speak to me uh, on that. Now, the, 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 before we get into all of that, let's see what the newspapers are saying today. We will begin uh, with the standard newspaper and see uh, what they are reporting on. Uh, their lead story today is saying ex-IC uh, chairman says Ali Umoman Jai should be removed. The former chairman of the Independent Electoral uh, Commission, Mustafa Kerayol, has called for the removal of current IC boss Ali Umoman Jai, saying he is not capable of running Elections saying Mr. Karayol, 85, said Mr. Njai, 87, is not capable of spearheading the December presidential election. He went on to say that to recommend for the appointment of one Tony Seka, believed to be a staff of the IEC. Speaking in a Star FM weekly live phone in f show anchored by Pandere Ture, Karayol, who was Njai's boss, said, I want to appeal to the head of the state or the head of state and all political parties to remove this man that is Ali Umar Njai, and bring in Tony Seka if they want a free and fair election. Jame to address APRC supporters on Friday, that's a question mark uh, there by the standard saying the splinter group of APRC opposed to the coalition with the National People's Party has announced that it will on Friday hold a rally in Kanilai where former President yeah, Jame is expected to make a speech on the current row over the NPP coalition. UN says crimes committed on the Jame should be prosecuted. The United Nations Working Group on Enforced Disappearances supports prosecution of crimes committed on the former president Yaya Jame. The group also demands a new international inquiry into the 2005 massacre of more than 50 West African migrants. The chairman of the Victim Center, Sirif Kijera, said the UN body's decision to support prosecutions for crimes on the Jame a few hours after President Barrow visited Kanila is a welcome move and a clear manifestation that impunity will not be uh, or will not strive uh, anywhere. Yes. So the, another story on this stand is that EU imposes visa restrictions on Gambia. The European Council has decided to temporarily suspend the application of certain provisions in the visa code to nationals of the Gambia. This decision was taken due to the country's lack of cooperation on readmission of, of third, third country nationals illegally staying in the EU. EU. Uh, let's turn our attention to the point. Uh, one of the stories there is uh, on Mama Kande, that's the GDC led leader saying Kande blast Barrow as being subordinate to Makisal. The party leader for Gambia Democratic Congress, Mama Kande, has assured his people and the entire Gambian populace that he will become president but never a director for another president. Mr. Kande was speaking on Saturday uh, during a mega rally graced by thousands of his supporters at the Guigi village under the Busimbala constituency. I will defend the interests of my people to the latter. Being a director and being a president are far different from each other. President Barrow said the Senegalese president Makisal is his boss, which was a very disappointing statement because Gambians voted for a president to lead them, but not a director or a governor, the GDC leader stated. Yes, that will be all for the news viewers. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.
Welcome back. So today one of our cameramen, Ibrahim Ajami, was arrested while he was filming an incident. Well, global home officials were being stopped by police from entering or accessing a property. This is a raw gripped property in Bijilo. So the reporter was just there to film the whole incident and he was arrested. He was simply doing his job. He was arrested, taken to Senegambia police station and later to Kairaba police station where I myself was at but this is what uh, while he was being arrested the camera was still rolling and this is what he got from that uh, unfortunate incident there so, 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 who, so who are you waiting for him to enter I don't know. Please. The order we have, let, 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 let us know allow anybody to get inside. That's the order we have got here. Yeah, but I, mean, I have a right to bring anybody. This is okay. a journalist. I invited the journalist for them to cover the injustice Nobody's. that is happening. Nobody's. So why would you wait, wait. stop them? Order for why that. would you stop them? I don't understand. Why would you stop the journalist? Okay, can I see your book? Wait, wait. Ibrahim, get me. Wait, wait. Go and call your SI now. Go and call your SI there you go. Don't push him. Don't push him. Don't push him. Just push him. He's a journalist. They are asking him. Just keep doing your job. That's your professor. Do your job. Do your job. Don't stop. Do your job. Do your job. Keep doing your job. Keep doing your job. Keep doing it. It's your job. Keep doing it. But you have no right to stop him. Don't, do not, do not even try. Don't stop him. Leave him alone. Leave him alone, please. Don't. He have every right. Approved by the national to take any record. What you are doing? You are just. What you are doing is that is illegal. So why why are you scared of being recorded? Why? Are you doing anything illegal? Not allowed to enter inside. Who says so? They say. Who? They say who? They call this man to talk to you. They say who? They are giving the power by. Who? It's on the law. The law is being approved. By the national system. So you're here to enforce. So if you're here to enforce the power that has been given to me and you're abusing it, I don't see no reason why the people should even obey. Well, that's, what people in uniform are that's what I'm saying. So that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Don't make this you want difficult. Okay, get inside. Boy, because I have the right from the National Assembly. There is a bill that has been approved. I don't, I don't, I don't disagree. The order I got, you are not allowed to enter. Right the information is a bill. Right the information is a bill. Say, 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 say. Please, move, 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 move. Please. Okay, wait. Um, no, go out. No, no, no. Go, go and fix it outside. Please. Go out. Okay. Well, let's, we will help you. Come. No, no, no. 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 You are getting closer. Have, this, is a, come. this is a private property. You are taking uh, my we camera. We understand. Please. Leave. Hey. If you spoil this camera, you are going to pay for it. Ungo. 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 Gentlemen. Cinema. Listen to me. No. No, 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 no. This is a private property. Ungo. Hey. Ungo. They have an international law that is defending me. Oh, I have a law that is defending me. I have the right to be here. I have the right to film this. Oh, don't, okay. don't, 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 what are you doing? You are just spoiling my work. No, no, let us arrest us. No, no, no. But you are spoiling my work. This is Okay, you are also interrupting our work. No, no, no. I have the right to be. I'm not, 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 I'm no. Go and ask your cinema man. He didn't say I should stop. He said I should go out. But he said I should go out. I'm now out. Allow me to do my job. Just please. I will. I will. So you are blocking my... You can see one of the officers is blocking my view. Don't do that. Hey. No, leave him alone. He has a right to do that. Don't do that. Stop it. Don't do that. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. This is the journalist here. Huh? I said, pull it. He's taking a short video. Actually, let him fall. <laughs> Boy. Seriously? Let him fall. Let him fall. You are saying my property? Yes. Yeah. Come on. My joke. Stop. You think people are here? Okay. Good. My friend, wow. this is for 350,000. Be careful with it. This is expensive. Take it easy, sir. So 
So that was the incident there, the arrest of Ibrahima. Well, I was at the police station to really find out what was really happening. I got there, I spent nearly two hours there, only for the ESO, ESO to tell me he doesn't even know why Ibrahima was at the station. Later, he went to meet the commissioner, and then he came and said, Ibrahima is released, that he has not done anything. He was only there to do his job, really. We condemn this action there by the police and call on the government to ensure that law enforcement officers respect the law, law, law regarding media freedom in the country. Now, the three officials of Global Home who were stopped there by police from entering that property, this Rao Group property there in Bijilo, have now been charged. Nene Gomez, Gilbert Manga, and Lamin C have all been, 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 been charged. They were at the Kerba police station. More in this report. Ms. Gomez was arrested by police on Monday as she delivered cement to a property her organization owns in Bijilo. Global Home and the state are at war over the property, with the state wanting to use the property as part of its infrastructure project for the OIC. Nene Gomez, Gilbert Manga, and Lamin C were arrested and taken to Kerba police station where they have now been charged with malicious damage to property. They are yet to be released on bail. Mari Jobari, who visited the Kerba police station earlier on Monday, wrote on Facebook, This act is a blatant abuse of power and a direct infringement on the fundamental rights of citizens to their property and a violation of the freedom of expression and the media. The Gambia government should stop harassing citizens. The state must protect the right to property. Above all, the Gambia government must respect court orders and the rule of law. A number of citizens were at the police station to show support to Nene and Co as they await their release by police. Now, while all this drama was unfolding, the government, through the Minister of Justice, also issued a statement, a three-paragraph statement by the Minister of Justice uh, there, and the statement uh, reads, the attention of this office, that's the Attorney General's office, uh, um, of this office has been drawn to reports circulating on social media, alleging that the Gambia government is blocking the purported owners of a piece of land in Bijilo from accessing their property. It went on to say, the public is hereby informed that this is totally false and could not be further from the truth. This matter is the subject of ongoing litigation in two suits before two separate judges of the High Court. Out of respect for the court and judicial process, this office is not at liberty to discuss matters which are subject to litigation. We will have the opportunity to shed light on the true facts of the matter once the courts have delivered their ruling on this matter. We invite the claimants in this matter to exercise similar restraint and abide by due process as opposed to seeking to litigate this matter in the media. That's the statement there. Well, this statement wasn't signed by anyone, uh, and it was not also dated. But this statement did come from the Minister of uh, Justice uh, there. So away from that, uh, we will uh, bring you uh, another story there. As Esar Fall has visited the victim center today. This is his first visit to the center since he left the TRRC and announced that he will be running for president. More in this. Mr. Fall met with the victims on Monday afternoon. He told the victims some political leaders want to deprive them of justice. He did not mention a name. Now we know the truth about what has happened. Now we are at the cost of getting justice. They want to deprive us of that justice at the altar of political expediency, we say, no, we refuse, it will not happen. You will pay the price. For come December 4, we will remove you all from power. Because the Gambian people want peace. And there cannot be peace if we do not have justice and reconciliation. Mr. Fall also addressed talk. He left the TRRC even when Work is not ready. I don't work at the TRRC. I'm a private citizen. I'm a private lawyer. If you want to give me a brief, and then I can go and ask them. But the TRRC is just down the road. You can go and ask them why. Mm -hmm. But one thing I know is I have finished my job. I have had received my part on the back. Thank you for the job well done. And... For anyone who cares to see, I have my letters. You know, 
politi politicians or members of the ruling party have been going around and bandying all sorts of stories about my departure from TRRC. And I have my letter from the Minister of Justice saying thank you for the job well done. So, and I had challenged them. But I have my letter. So I cannot, I do not hold brief for the TRRC. Even for things I know, I will not say because that would be unprofessional. Mm. The TRRC should answer for itself. I am no longer there. I have left. The head of the Gambia Center for Victims of Human Rights Violations, Sirif Kijera, said the victims are proud of SR Fall. The victims are very proud of you and they are grateful for the work and contribution you have done I mean, as part of the transitional justice um, 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 program. Thank you very much, sir. Um, this engagement with Mr. Fall is one of our, um, uh, our programs that we are engaging leaders of the various political parties. Um, as you know, um, His Excellency, the former Vice President, um, Mr. Hussein Udawo, and the UDP delegations um, were here before. And uh, we have um, a very fruitful discussions with them. Um, they have made a commitment, I mean, the, uh, to, for, for, to justice, to make sure that um, TRRC recommendations are honored and respected and will be implemented if at all they are elected into office. Mr. Fall's visit to the victim center will be seen in some quarters as trying to convince the victim community to vote for him come December. Welcome back. Uh, I'm now joined by journalist Yusuf Taylor, or also known as Flex Dan. He has been closely uh, monitoring or following this issue there, this global home versus the state uh, there. He joins me now. I understand he was at the police station. Since last week, really, this thing has been festering. He was at the, at the global home uh, uh, office there in Bijilo. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Flex Dan, for, for joining me. Um, first of all, Yes. Uh, first of all, what can you tell us? What have you, I mean, gathered regarding this whole issue? Okay. What I gather is that um, we've seen court documents produced by Global Homes of Medical Mission proving that they own that property at Bijilo. The same um, documents which the sheriff also has copies of was also the sheriff themselves were in attendance when we both yourself and I, last week, visited Global Homes of Medical Mission. So, unfortunately, the, the owners, that is Nene Frida Gomez, who is one of the country representatives, um, has been trying to get access to that place with construction material. But every time that they try to get access, they refuse the construction materials to get access in there so that they can do their work. And um, this has been the main challenge. Every time they do allow the owners to get in. However, they've not been allowing them to get in with their construction materials to start construction work. So today it came at a head when they tried to gain access again with their construction material. And um, from what we understand, that's when they were arrested together with one of your journalists on the FATU network. Um, and we feel that the, the, the truth of the matter is that the anti-crime has moved. They have moved to the police school close to the airport. However, um, word on the grapevine, and this is information we got from the officers there, is that the OIC has been sending officials to that venue and the government intends to build a hotel for the OIC at that same venue. And this is, for now, the only explanation we have as to why and is still trying to hold onto a property which the courts have ruled should be given back to Global Home of Medical Mission. So you were at the police station, at Karaba police station. Uh, were you able to see Nene and, 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 and the other two who were arrested? Uh, what are they saying? Yes, we've seen them. Um, I was there for a very long time, for some hours, at least two hours plus. And we did speak to many. Um, we understand that they were charged with assault and also they were charged with um, malice, malicious damage of property. And also they were also charged 
with um, what's the word um, obstructing obstructing an officer so these were the three charges but by the time we were leaving these charges were being revised and some of them were being dropped so when we get back in touch with um, the rest of them um, that is many and the rest of them will be able to know for sure if at all the charges have been dropped and even new charges have been added so this is currently the situation which we have which they been added. released do you know whether they have been released um, I'm not sure yet if they've been released but I will get back in touch with them and find out for sure if they've been released. At the moment, we're not sure. Um, but they have their lawyers there, and these are billable offenses. So we assume that they would have been um, bailed and released. Mr. Flex Dan, thank you very much for joining me. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. For thank time. you. Thank you. So we've been trying to get a hold of Nene to bring him um, here. Uh, but it would appear that they are still trying to process them in terms of uh, their release at uh, the Karaba, uh, 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 well, Karaba police station. So we'll try to get Nene and all the officials who are involved in this in our subsequent um, newscast to really talk to them as to really what is going on in terms of all of this uh, issue there. So that will bring us to the end of the show today. Thank you for being there. I'll be back tomorrow.